this is another video for Spartan Society to the Battle of Luctra and we're looking at religion, death and burial, focusing on the festivals and in this video looking at the Gymnopedia. We can see there in the syllabus where it fits, it's a third dot point down festivals and it's a second uh, festival that we need to know and uh, be able to discuss independently and also as a broader question on religion and festivals. So the Gymnopedia was held in July which is the middle of summer and in Greece that's very very hot. It's also known as the Festival of Unarmed Dancing, which Brennan tells us is most likely means naked dancing more so than not, not using weapons. Uh, and it was initiated after the Spartans were defeated at the Battle of Hysiae in 669 BC, which many regard was the catalyst that sparked the Spartans to become the way they became, focused solely on the military. And it became also after the Spartans won the Battle of uh, Thyria in 550 BC, a commemoration of those who died at that battle as well so it had kind of two purposes there so it includes what's known as ferric dancing which is a, a type of um, military style dancing where it was all about a feat of endurance but using a lot of the steps that you would you would expect to use in the military and a test of i suppose endurance because it's so hot and they're expected to dance for, for long periods of time so all the young boys so anyone who was not of mili military age was expected to be involved in the dancing uh, and you can see some images there of the ferric dancing, particularly the, the, the men down the bottom there. And you can see them naked but carrying their shield. Very athletic dancing, uh, often accompanied by the flute and the lyre. So it had a specific focus on um, music and on, on dancing, but a particular military focus, uh, much in accordance with um, Sparta's way of life and, and their, um, you know, their, their military focus.